Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess and welcome to Smarter Beauty. Today I am super excited to do something different on my channel. I've been seeing so many of these anti hauls going around YouTube. It's spreading like wildfire. The original creator of this anti haul phenomenon is Kimberly Clark. I will of course link her YouTube channel and she also has a playlist of all 13 anti-haul videos definitely go over show her some love she is amazing she is funny smart so if you don't know what an anti-haul is basically it's the opposite of a haul you're going to talk about things that you're not going to purchase you know there's so many products that come out and companies are just throwing things at us left and right and left and right and obviously we can't buy every new makeup item or makeup craze and it's just there's always going to be something new so as a quick disclaimer just so you guys know i'm not trying to bash on any brands it's not a bashing video it's just talking about products that you're not going to be purchasing so this is just my views and opinions on why i'm not going to purchase these particular products and why i don't want to waste my money so without further ado let's get into it grab yourself some coffee girlfriend a little snack let's do this so before I get started if you see me looking down I have my laptop in front of me with all of the information in that just so I have my notes in front of me so if you see me looking down that's why I'm looking down all right so first up we have the wet n wild unicorn set this retails for $29.99 and you can also buy the pieces individually now on their website so this unicorn bundle set comes with three highlighters, three color icon loose pigments, two mega last prismatic lip colors, and one unicorn highlighting brush. So when I first saw this collection, sort of, you know, pictures on the Wet n Wild Instagram page, I was like, oh, okay, this is cute. You know, maybe I'll get it and do a review for you guys. But then the more the more I looked at it and I saw what was included, I was just like, mm, no. Number one, I don't like the Wet n Wild brushes, so I definitely would not purchase the brush. It is cute. I can see the appeal, you know, the unicorn spiral. I'm sort of interested in like the lip toppers. It's like a lip transformer, but I don't know. It just looks kind of cakey. I've seen people using them and swatching them and it just don't look so appealing. And the one thing that I know I would never purchase is the highlighters because I actually have one of the rainbow highlighters. Now this actually, they released this a while back as limited edition. So this is the Unicorn Glow Rainbow Highlighter. And this is included with those three highlighters. So if you already have this, you might not want another one. I was really let down with this product because it is super glittery very dry and it's pressed so hard in the pan you have to take your brush and really scrape and scrub in order to pick up any product on your brush and put it on your skin i encountered the same issue with the mega glow revamped highlighter the really large pan with the stripes now wet n wild they have the mega glow highlighters these are amazing the formula is so smooth and creamy this is not the same formula as these right here so I, I just, I feel like these were such a pass and a miss for me. I would not want to purchase three more. No, I'm not going to buy it. So the next two products are actually both from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Now you guys know I love e.l.f. Me and e.l.f. go way back. I've been purchasing from them for years. It was probably one of my very first makeup companies that I really fell in love with because they were super affordable. Everything is cruelty free and vegan, which I think is awesome. So recently I was browsing the e.l.f. website and I saw that they have two new palettes that just came out and these are called the e.l.f. Aqua Beauty Cushion Eyeshadow Palettes. So there's two different eyeshadow palettes and they retail for $12 each and you get six eyeshadows in each palette. The eyeshadow pans are really, really small. Secondly, $12? What is going on? e.l.f. keeps raising their prices higher and higher and higher. Now granted, $12 is still considered, you know, a drugstore price, 
What really swayed me into not purchasing these and including them in this video was I was on Instagram one day and Elf was doing an Instagram live. They had two, to, two of their like sort of interns or people that work for them and they were swatching the palettes on their hand and sort of showing the palettes. So I have a, sort of an idea of what the formula looks like and I could tell right away that they looked very patchy, very crumbly, and when they were swatching them, you could see little bits and particles of the shadows just kind of falling off. Observing from the pictures online, the price point, and seeing the live swatches on Instagram, no, uh-uh, e.l.f., just, no, I think this is a huge miss. I'm, I'm, not, I'm gonna pass on these. All right, so the other e.l.f. product that I'm not going to purchase is actually a beauty tool, and this is called the e.l.f. Massaging Eye Wand. This retails for $25. And basically, it's a vibrator for your under eye area. This 100% looks very gimmicky to me, and I know there's some other brands on the market that are way more expensive, so this would be a more affordable alternative. So basically, this is a small handheld object that vibrates, and you just go like this underneath your eyes, and it's supposed to do some kind of magical wonder. I don't know, I just, I hope Elf doesn't keep coming out with all these weird gimmicky things like other brands have been doing lately, and I just, I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to buy a $25 vibrator for my under eyes. It's just not going to happen. So the next item that I will not be purchasing is the new Too Faced Peaches and Cream collection. Now this is not out yet. It's going to be released, I think, in the next few months. I think maybe in August or whatever. And if you follow Jared, the owner of Too Faced Cosmetics on Instagram, he's been posting a lot of sneak peeks of the peaches and cream collection. So there's going to be like an all matte eyeshadow palette. They're going to do like the whole thing again, just like they did with the Sweet Peach collection, uh, which I did not fall for that. I did not pick out anything from the Sweet Peach collection. I just... I don't know, I don't get the whole peach thing because when you look at the Sweet Peach palette, there's like maybe one or two peach shades and the rest are just boring colors. They're all browns and neutrals. And I just, I don't know, I think they need to just let the peach thing go and move on, but they're not going to. They're going to come out with a whole collection that's peaches and cream. So the next product on my list is actually from a new upcoming indie brand and they are called Storybook Cosmetics. I discovered them through like YouTube and Instagram. Everyone's been going goo goo gaga over their makeup brushes, but I'm actually gonna be talking about their eyeshadow palette. It's called the Wizardry and Witchcraft Eyeshadow Palette. This palette retails for $52. You get 12 eyeshadows. So all of the reviews and swatches that I've seen so far on this palette Almost everyone is saying that the eyeshadows are okay and mediocre, but they're not like amazing quality. That right there is a red flag. It looks like they put a lot of money and time into the packaging, which I mean, I'm not going to lie. I love weird kind of witchy type, you know, unusual packaging. So I, this is something I would definitely gravitate towards. It's something that I would definitely be interested in. But just from the reviews and comments I've seen about the company, I don't know if it's a brand that I want to support. A lot of people are saying the customer service is not so great. Some people don't even receive their packages and orders. Who knows, maybe in the future they will improve the quality of their eyeshadows and it might be something I might try out. But this, uh -uh, I'm going to pass on it. I will not purchase. Alright guys, so the last product that I will not be purchasing is also from an indie company. This is from the brand called Saucebox Cosmetics. If you haven't heard of them, they're kind of a smaller brand. They're more of an indie brand. I follow them on Instagram and they have like really beautiful makeup. I think a lot of makeup artists purchase from them and they are a smaller company. Don't get me wrong, I love supporting indie brands and I've been wanting to try their products for a long time. They are a little bit more on the expensive side. But from what I've heard, the 
quality is like really really good. I've been wanting the Etude palette for forever because it looks beautiful. It has all matte shades. So they released a new palette and it's called the Mermaid Life or Mermaid Life eyeshadow palette. So this retails for $75. It is cruelty free and vegan. It has nine shadows with four grams of product per shadow. Now, when I first saw the packaging, I thought it was so beautiful. It really does look pretty. It's in the shape of a seashell. It has this beautiful mermaid on the front. It says mermaid life in bold letters. You open it up, it looks like a clam or a shell. And the colors look just kind of average. I don't know. I guess I was expecting more. There's four lighter colors in this palette that all kind of look identical in the pan. They do look a little bit different in the swatches, but I just feel like they could have done maybe more and added more vibrant shades. Now comparing this to their Etude palette, which retails for $50, you get eight shades and each shadow is 4.5 grams. So you actually get more product in the Etude palette and it's $50. So that's, I can definitely justify 50 bucks for that palette because they're all matte shades. It looks like you can use them, you know, on your face, on your eyes for shadow, or you can contour. It's a very versatile palette. So I can justify $50. And you can tell they did put a lot of money and thought into the packaging and that's pretty much what you're paying for. You're paying for that seashell packaging with the mermaid on the front because it is very unique. I personally just don't think that palette is worth $75. That is pretty darn expensive. If I'm going to spend that much money on an eyeshadow palette, I would expect more shadows and more variety. Hell to the no. Not for me. I'm not going to fall for the cute packaging. I refuse to pay $75 for cute packaging. Alright guys, so that is it. That is my very first anti-haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And if you want to see more of these videos, definitely leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. It's completely free and I post new videos every Tuesday, Friday and sometimes on Sunday. I will see you all in the next video. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye, guys.